Finally, hurricane hunters, they flew through the area near Jacksonville today. That is right, Frank, and unfortunately, or at least fortunately for parts of the East Coast, <laughs> while there is an area of circulation, a well-closed low already forming, it's not quite given it tropical characteristics. So even if it was going to become a tropical depression, it would do so for a very, very short brief of window of time there. So that has only given us a 60% chance of development here in the next 24 to 48 hours, and we're already just a few hours away from that disturbance reaching landfall. As far as the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, there's another area of disturbance weather already starting to pick up some shower activity near the Yucatan Peninsula that will be staying well out toward the western Gulf of Mexico. So no concern for us here locally. However, I will tell you this is Invest 92L. This is basically struggling to have those full on tropical characteristics, but the Invest category gives it potential to put more spaghetti models in there, more resources just to figure out where the center, where the core of this disturbance will head, and it's going right for the Georgia coastline tonight within just a few hours. So that land interaction combined with some pockets of dry air cutting into it is really what's not quite allowing it to fully reach that tropical category. So it will just be a rainmaker for a good chunk of southeastern United States, including us. We're really pulling in some more moisture overhead for tonight. It's mostly north of I-4 that we're seeing some of those scattered showers and even a few isolated thunderstorms firing up. But then many spots to our south, it is just hot and humid without dealing with much rain out there in some of our southern locations, which is why we're seeing plenty of 80s and 90s on the map. It will feel even hotter than that because of that humidity. I'll let you know what that could mean, though, for our weekend plans that's coming up.